Okay, are we ready to bring this home now? Um, like I say, it, it looks a little bit different. Once it dries, it looks a little bit different. Um, I didn't touch it since yesterday, or, you know, yeah, yesterday or since last was in video five. So we're gonna go ahead and bring it home. So like, like you see, here's the part where you're gonna um, not be scared to paint over what you've already been painting. Like, like in this area right here, we probably already painted over that five, six different times. We're gonna do a little bit more. We're gonna go. I mean, right now, if you want to keep it the way it is, if you like this kind of openness, that, 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 that's fine. It's your paint and do whatever you want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a few trees in it, just kind of show you a couple techniques on how to do trees. So, let's get, get like a little realistic. Let's just put a little bit of black and get some regular old brown here. That's a kind of a dark. Let's, let's let's use like the lighter brown, a little, just a regular normal brown. Put a little bit in there. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. Like I say, you know, you, it's okay to you know have the paint touch you tell you want to wet your brush a little bit, just have a little damp. So here, here's what we want to decide. Where, where, where do we want some trees and stuff in our little field here? And this is where perspective gets a little important because it's kind of going to kind of determine like how big everything else is by comparison. So, I don't know if that makes sense. So let's take our trusty little fan brush here, I guess. And just get a little, 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 little bit on here. Make sure I get a little bit of black, a little bit of brown. Let's do all. Let's do a pine tree right up on. Just want to take it. You know. Dab like that, see? You want to just dab it. There you go. Now. All right, it's a little more down here. You know, nature's not perfect, so you want to do too perfect. So let, let, let's put like, like a little. So I'm going to take some holiday green, put some over here. I'm going to take some apple tart. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Put some here, and it's going to be kind of a similar color as down here, but let's, let's see how this goes. Put a little, little bit, just, you just want like just a little bit. Yeah, at the top of your tree like that. You want to get a little bit more. Just when you come, come down, you just want to kind of barely tap in. It'll get wider as you go down. You don't want it you know, going too wide. You know, when you see a tree outside, you know, it all the leaves and everything doesn't all fully cover it. Let's take a little bit of this brown black and just kind of add a little this and that to this one. Right. You know, because you're going to see leaves, you're going to see part of the wood, you're going to see, you know, through the tree, whatever. Not perfect, but not bad. Let's let's put another. Or well, Bob Ross said he needs like a little friend, so let's put one right next to him right here. Now a little bit better. Okay, let's. You don't have to worry about washing the brush off. I'm just paint right over it. And I'm gonna use um this fan brush here. Looks like it's fanning like a little bit better. Put a little bit more to paint on here. A little bit of the dark green, your forest green, whatever that was called. Holiday green. And your apple, apple tart. You know, it doesn't matter, like right here, the, the tree's not perfect at the bottom. Because, you know, out in nature, you know. You know let's. Put some green on there. It's kind of a, kind of going to look at the same color. Yeah, so. Let's grab a little orange and let's just kind of
used to. I usually use a different brush for this. I can't find it. Let me get up. So a little orange just to add a little. A little something to your tree here. So yeah, it's all on pine trees there. It's you know what when it dries it's gonna gonna look look better. It, it always generally does. So let's clean up our brush here. Why don't we um grab let's say this this one again. We'll put like a nice little tree over here, so let's put a little more black and brown on here. Where's the brown? This is regular brown this time, why not? And it's got some like lighter stuff. And we're gonna make like your just a regular old generic outdoor tree. This it doesn't really matter what um you know it's not pine, just your regular elm or you know I, I don't know just normal little tree. Just take a little, little, little bit of each one. Let's kind of go over here. Let's go. And it doesn't matter if it gets like a little wiggly because you know trees are a little bit wiggly out in the real world. Just kind of like around down here. Make it look like some roots and whatever. And, and right here, let me let's do some on brand. This, is, this, 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 this doesn't really matter because when you look at, at a tree out in the distance, you out and about, you see trees, you see all these branches, you don't know if they're coming or going and what's direction they're going. So it doesn't really matter a whole lot, uh, you know, how you um, do this. And a lot of this is going to be covered up anyway. So. so let's go ahead and. Um, it's okay to, you know, again, to paint over what you've already painted. Just a bunch of little generic. And let's maybe have the tree split a little bit up here. That nice tall tree. Let's get the other side here. See, see, a lot of this doesn't matter too much. You ask me what kind of tree this is. I don't know. It's just a tree. I don't know. Just a regular old tree. It's a little more black in it, you know. It's going to kind of blend into the mountain a little bit of background. And Maybe a log, maybe an old branch coming out right here. And there you go. There you go. What do, what do you think? Does that, that look good? Oh, you're tree? You're nodding? Okay. Should we put it, should we give him a friend or just leave it like that? Leave it. Leave it like that. Ah, uh, let's think. Because uh, it's barely spring. I don't know where we get it. that from. It's barely spring. Because look at the curve. Alright. Now let's take, um, We've already got some green and orange on here, so we can just go ahead and start with that. Let's. I, I have another brush I like to use for doing this, and I just cannot find it's kind of a special fan brush. So let's just, you know, now when, when you put the leaves on there, remember, you know, when you look at the trees outside, you have to forest preserve, you're walking around, I pick up a rubber band from somewhere. When you look at the tree, you know, you don't see only leaves, you, you know, you see, you know, kind of through, so you, you don't want to, um, cover the whole thing you still want to see see like a little in the background so let's grab a little of our double green color and just kind of start tapping tap 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 and it doesn't really matter you know where you you tap it you know you don't you don't want to do one leaf at a time you just want to do like bunches you know you want to try to come down straight you're gonna You're gonna be picking up some of the, the, the wet um, black, and that's okay. It's, you know, you know, trees, the leaves are all different kinds of colors. You know, they're not only green; they could be have a little brown in them. And, and I know I get a little um, criticized because in my little world, I generally don't 
put shadows or reflections in the water. You know, some people tell me I should put in shadows for a light source. And I, 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 I really always do appreciate the um, the constructive criticisms and the uh, and the advice and stuff like that. But I, I'm, I'm kind of happy of how. Um, how my uh, stuff comes about. So, I guess we're just kind of tapping some leaves on here. I'm just getting uh, both the dark pink and the lighter green. It kind of really gets on there. Kind of, will we'll take you know when it dries, it'll take care of itself. Yeah, see this this looking there. What do, what do you think, Kayla? Is it looking good to you or? You can see all those branches we did earlier. You kind of, you know, you, you kind of see them. They're kind of covered at the same time. You know, just just like nature in real life. Uh, I say, if I want to grab a little bit of the orange and just tap, you know, a couple little orange leaves. You know, maybe it's not spring. Maybe it's late summer or early fall. The leaves are starting to change. I don't know. I don't see calendar here. Let's take um let's take some of the deep no no let's take some of this uh, this yellow what's this called um lemon a little lemon all by itself over here and there's that water finger painting paint again and you don't have to really clean the brush with me wipe off a little bit yeah just add a little bit of yellow okay. spread a little yellow around It doesn't have to be all perfect round, you know, like all, you know, making this. The trunk looks a little, like it needs a little, um, a little extra support. Let's thicken the trunk up a little bit. to be like Bob Brown. Uh, you know, if you wanna just take, take, take a little bit of yellow, just add a little bit of yellow into it all. And when that dries, it'll, 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 look, it'll look, look pretty nice. Huh? Let's um, kind of again uh, make, make it look like some roots and or whatever you want to do, you know, just kind of around the tree there. Okay. So what do you think? Uh, let's take a little yellow and just kind of uh, tap along here a little bit. You know, just kind of, kind of find a little place to stop. Do a little highlights, you know. This style of them painting it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, but you know you want it to you want it to look nice. You know I you know the third thing was gonna say that this is like a little bit too advanced for like eight nine ten year old girls to do. And I, I don't know I kind of, kind of disagree. I think if they try it's not gonna come out looking like this. You know the first time they try it. No of course not. But uh you can keep keep your practice and keep embracing your failures. You know. I, 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 I have confidence in them that just kind of get some highlights in here. 
like I said, you know, it kind of blends in with the background, and you know that that's okay. Um, what do you what do you think? You know, what do you think more we need, want to do to this, or she's putting her thumbs up just because she doesn't want to do the. Um, why don't we take just a little bit of this yellow and kind of go by a little pan. We're almost done here. Let's just just let's just do a little bit of stuff at the pants here, like the sand. You know. something there but be careful when you, when you do this on uh, when the paint's still wet maybe grab a little bit of the orange and kind of without the yellow, that's perfectly fine, you know. And for one little final touch, let's grab a little bit of a, what do you call this is, what is this, dark blue, dark blue, let's just kind of, to bring it home, I put it just a, just a little dark blue extra here. You know, what, what is this, this, you know, flower, is it just, you know, whatever, I guess, uh, Notice I didn't put that much paint on here, and it's going almost across the whole thing. Let's just see, see this one. Paint goes a lot farther than you. I think it would. It's, 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 it's like little stuff like this that, that makes your paint a little bit more special. Uh, so what do you think? Want to call that a painting? Yeah, Keelan definitely does. Why don't we... Take the black hair. Oh. oh, you're writing your name? Yeah, just that's a. I thought you were doing something else. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. See, we got ourselves a finished painting here. So what do you think about that? Um, write in the comments, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I will see you later.